Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I go first every week and I feel an immense amount of pressure and I'm like to change the order for next week. Right. Little Z. <laughs> Oh, I'm here, and I've breathed in a lot of glass this week. <laughs> oh, is it darker than usual? Also, I got sick from ice cream. Um, what are these tissues, Zach? Oh, little coom in the doog. Oh, <laughs> coom in the doog room. Uh, I was meant to turn all the is lights it darker than on. Usual? Big reveal. It's the same set, but now we turn the lights on after the intro. <laughs> it's, it's pretty epic. Oh, that's cool. Dimming, dimming I like the lights. that. I'm, I kind of like having the lights off. Yeah, so did I. Can we always what, have the lights permanently? off? Permanently? Yeah. Can you turn I mean, off again? we could just turn the camera off. No, you yeah, can still see us. If it's like in the classroom, turn the lights off. Is it it kind of got me in the mood for some intimate conversations, having the lights down. Do you guys find that like having the setting is very important to your conversation? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And I think it's something that we don't realize because it's subconscious. Yep. Wouldn't have brought up the tissues if it wasn't uh, all yeah. red. All right, Peter, let's hear your most intimate conversation now. Well, Ooh. the lights have gone down, by the I way. I feel like we should all speak deeper. Yeah. Okay. Yo. Do, I have, do I have the lowest dog, voice on the underdog? Dog oh, ASMR. <laughs> Everyone give us for your lowest sentence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is going the high, is a sentence. Sometimes I cry when I look at myself in the mirror. Oh, oh, that's, that's pretty low. That's, that's pretty, pretty low. low, right? <laughs> Different type of low. It's a low moment too. Yeah. Yeah. Just but say the really that, high voice. I was making that joke. <laughs> uh, but my lowest voice is, I'm going to take my horse to the old town. <laughs> it's just croaking <laughs> at that point. Uh, 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 something like this. Whoa, wait, what is this? Why are we doing this? Because I told you, could you turn the lights down? <laughs> because I told you to. Um, yeah, but it's like kind of a bit low. of give and take Sorry with the pod. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. Um, hey there, Jackson. Oh, hey, oh, Peter. Hey. Isn't it funny how when you, <laughs> when you want to get your voice to go higher, you have to go louder? And when you want to go lower, it has to go quieter. Mm, that's interesting. Any any sound? Who can go the highest? In oh, the definitely you. I'm not going to test. <laughs> I said I'm not going to test. Wait, it. how do you do oh, that? Okay. I just said crazy. I'm not going to test it. Ah. I'm about to say low voices are so bad. Low voices are soothing and stuff, and high and really high is just piercing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey. So I feel like for our audio Hi. audio entertainment, what's uh, going on? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> unrivaled audio right, yeah. entertainment. For unrivaled audio entertainment. I feel like shrieking is not the content people are looking <laughs> no, for. No voices. one rivals this. This might and be the worst start to the podcast. Welcome we've ever had. back to the Underdogs Podcast. <laughs> Did we just start it again? A little intimate there with uh, the red lights. No, I don't think we start again. No. I think that was pretty fucking you good. You got something better to say, Jackson? No. I want to do more what of that. You, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do this week, Jackson? Anything intimate? Uh, intimate? Well, actually, maybe don't. <laughs> uh, uh, well, yes. I, Interesting. Sorry. May I just explain my point of the low lights? I was thinking about the hotel video, actually. Yeah. When me and Jackson got dinner, we had a great old deep conversation. Oh my god! Yeah, we were. That was romantic. It How was, deep? Oh, balls deep. <laughs> That was um, really good. Were the lights low? Yeah, the lights were low oh. and the music was up, the vibe was up, the setting was very important to the conversation. Yeah, well, Zach across. and I didn't get very deep. We were too busy trying to win a freaking game show or whatever <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, we were quiz. in the fluorescent light, uh, cheap hostel, Skull and Goon. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You guys had a good dinner. <laughs> yeah. We it's, could barely afford dinner. Fuck you guys. It's like the 3am chats after a party. They yeah. always go the hardest because yeah. everyone's mm. like just... Their guards down. You're a little bit drunk still. It's dark. It's chill. You're now trusting of the people. Like I, I call it the survivors of the party. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because like mm. some people go home because they like need to do something tomorrow, yep. or they get too drunk, yep. or they go to sleep, or people just get tired. Yeah. Then you just got that like. OG crew of the survivors core. and you're Dude. like you guys are worthy of this good conversation I would not do well on that survivor show <laughs> <laughs> the new survivor it's like they send people off as they get too drunk alcoholic See survivors you later. <laughs> you're out first most nights nah, it's 50-50 I've done a couple where I've made it to the very end recently. oh really yeah. you're up the first night of your party I wasn't there the second you did a pretty good stint yeah, yeah, okay, what, what is this? It's reflections. <laughs> I went to bed before Zach. Dim you the know? lights yeah. if you're going to give me an intervention, guys. <laughs> it's not an intervention, I was congratulating you. Oh, thanks, you did man. a good job. It's not an intervention, it's a congratulation. Exactly. Ooh. And how do you nice. feel? Uh, absolutely, you have a speech prepared? Absolutely or? fantastic. I'd like to thank myself. I'd thank Maddie as well. She kept you Yeah, up. and Maddie. Yeah, well, there you go. 
All right. That was for my surprise birthday. That's all we got time for, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the lights again. We're going home. <laughs> uh, me and Maddie have been doing a lot of furniture moving this week, which is not exciting in itself. But it got exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it got a little bit exciting, but well, I've, I've told that story on my own channel. I'll gloss over it briefly. Basically, we had this table with a big glass panel on it. We were trying to move it outside and it fucking shattered everywhere. And the Great. lady on Marketplace that had come look at all our furniture, she was like, oh, it looks good. And then we <laughs> <laughs> broke the table and she came back with the ute like, <laughs> we were like, uh, discount. You still have to How take everything else. How much discount did she get? What percentage? Well, she was a bit of a haggler too. So she was happy with it. It kept dropping down. We started at 600. Then we dropped it to 500. Then she said 450. We were like, okay. Then we were like 350 with the broken table. Then she was like 300. So half price of what we started with. That's yeah, pretty well, gangster to keep haggling even after the whole like broken table situation. Oh, you've yeah. got to keep. That's Just the most important it. part. Yeah. Because well, right. she could have fucked off and like now we're stuck with a broken table. Yeah. 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 And it's yeah. outside the house and we're like, what do we do now? Yeah. Fucking idiot. Zach would have probably paid her to take it away at that yeah, point. I was about to say, yeah. you have anything. <laughs> Honestly, I was at that point. We just had to get all this old oh. furniture out. So the, we're basically upgrading all of our furniture. But it got me thinking, ever since I moved into this house, yep. I've always had this thing where like, what is the one thing you would get in your house? It's like, you know, you go to someone's house and they have maybe one thing and you're like, that's cool. Fireman pole. Yeah, something like that. That shit is awesome. Oh. That would so be really cool. Here, I've actually. always thought one of the coolest things would be to get a slide. Because no a two-story house. No, no I'm not getting a slide. Oh. Because I don't think no it would way. fit anywhere, but like, yeah, where would it go? That's, that's probably my dream. On like, the outside of the stairs. Oh, especially you have a have swimming pool and it goes in a yeah. swimming pool. From like in indoors Water to the Water slide from your upstairs bathroom. Mm. Or a balcony just above a swimming pool and the, the gate, the, the railing's not there. Yep. Is that so legal? I think a slide would be pretty epic yep. if you just had like unlimited resources yeah. and space and money Surely to build something. Surely that would be that something. expensive. Uh, I, I think the know. space... Would be the hard yeah. part because you have to put like a hole in a wall or yeah. something. It, that'd be the expensive part. The yeah. slide itself probably doesn't. <laughs> not that the steeper the slide, the less space you need. <laughs> <laughs> you could just have a tube that drops just a to hole. the floor. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just a fireman pole without the pole. It's just a <laughs> hole in the floor. Yeah, people get elevators. Oh, that's the problem with the slide. You can't go up. Well, true. <laughs> you ever seen a kid in a playground? You can. No, they do. That's it. why you get those slide stairs, like in Scooby Doo. I haven't you know, seen go that. up the stairs and then you flick a lever and it turns yeah, into a smooth yeah. Oh, slide. really? But the old Scooby-Doo tricks, they're pretty good though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what would you guys put in? I, I was thinking oh. like, like Jackson, would you get a big aquarium? Well- Like an evil villain's- I updated my life. I did do this. I bought a Roomba. I've always wanted a Roomba. And I think I'm, we can aim a bit higher than this. And I'm so happy to have my Roomba. I mean, Guys, a, I actually recently got a, a dining a table. <laughs> isn't it? No, the Roomba is cool. The Roomba's pin, great. Pin in the Roomba. I'll hear your thoughts on that later. But yeah. that is not a big enough item for Dream yeah, House. Dream a bit bigger. I've, I've dreamt. How much did it cost? $1,000. Well, oh, that's pretty expensive. Yeah. I thought that was less than it that. It is expensive. You can buy knockoff ones for cheaper. All right, but I'm yeah. all in on the Roomba. Does it mop as well? No, see. Well, <sighs> it's it a separate mopping that's Roomba. Actually, that's the dream. That's, that's the dream. That's the dream. Some do both. Oh my yeah, the new God. ones do both. But they're like two and a half grand or something. Yeah, yeah Holly's brother house. has one of those. Yeah, this one, you say like, go and clean the kitchen. And off he goes, Greg. You say it. Well, you could if you set it up with your Google whatever, but oh. I just do it on my phone. See, I just oh, feel like I'd that. get home and Greg, Eddie would kitchen. be Eddie the cat would be sitting on top of the Roomba, just like getting a free ride around the house. Yeah, apparently it's not the best with pets. Someone was saying last week about if a dog does a shit, then it'll just take it through the whole house. Yeah, smear it on everything. <laughs> what if I do a shit? <laughs> hey, it does the same thing. What if we're pranking oh, Zach doing shit in his backyard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? Was that on the podcast? Yeah, that was on the podcast. Was that not the extended edition? <laughs> oh, was it? I don't oh, that's remember. what you guys could be missing out on. <laughs> yeah, get, head on over to patreon.com slash underdogspod. Five bucks a month, you could hear about Peter Jackson and Jordan shitting on my lawn. It didn't the plan. happen. It's just but a prank. No plan. Or maybe it did you know, happen. It's an ongoing You don't know. Prank. You don't know what happened. We've, we've done the first couple, but he hasn't noticed yet. Yeah. Uh, so the prank is basically, how would I know if it's a human shit or a dog shit? I think you could Ollie tell. does big and How long moves. would it yeah. take? Um, anyway. I'll go with aquarium then, if that's not allowed. Yeah, like a good, like, Eight foot aquarium, like a like an aquarium ball, like oh, with a that'd shark. That'd be amazing. Imagine that, like in between the living room and the kitchen or something, and you look through. Okay, here's an idea. Go you have a two story house. Yeah. The from the top level it looks like a pond. Yeah. And from the bottom level, you can see into the side of it. Amazing. So like it's okay. like an open top. Yeah. And you look down at like a, a pond, but then it's, it's not. It's and an it's aquarium. a pool as well. Mm, I wouldn't really want. I think you'd with kill your fish. 
Yeah, you probably would. Do you reckon you like body cam? Like you go in with sunscreen one day and they all just cark it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, well, fish should get better than that. The ocean's <laughs> got a bunch of people swimming in it. There's still fish. It's that a mass. Yeah, but percentage-wise, the sunscreen to water is a bit different. Yeah, it's, it's like how different. ping in the ocean is all right. <laughs> well, why do you but need sunscreen? Pool is not. It's fucking indoors. And ping, ping That's in like a, a cup of water someone's drinking is <laughs> way off. <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. It's almost a one-to-one one ratio. Yeah, exactly. It's all, it's, about it's all about ratios. Guys, yeah. at, what, at what point is it not okay? At what co- point, what percentage Swimming of pool. urine would you drink? <laughs> I'm serious. 100. Yeah, because you would still drink. <laughs> 100 the- emoji. Bear girls, 100. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the situation. On a casual Sunday afternoon, refreshing beverage. You're going to get $100 and per percentage. What percentage are you doing? 100. Oh, Hundred for a full two fifty mil. Yeah, cup. that's yeah. what hundred grand. Yeah, fuck that. A hundred. You do a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred grand for a cup of piss. Isn't it depends. 10 grand? Is it my piss or I don't someone? Care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for a dollar. I'll do it. Actually, pretty important. It is, 10 is grand. it my piss or someone? No, that it's someone drinks else's. more water. No, it's someone. Oh, else's. but Zach's piss. It's fucking. Toxic. Oh, is your piss worse? Yeah. Oh, you drink it living coffees. I do it. That's too, bit too much caffeine. <laughs> it wasn't English. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm going. So with, you get the aquarium. I'm going with twenty percent. By the way, I I saw this Twitch clip of this guy who has a trampoline. trampoline. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. that. And he like gets a I don't know triple kill or some shit, and then he dumps down, does a double backflip, and then jumps back up to his. His setup's like on a higher level. Like if he wheeled his gamer chair back, he would tip over into the trampoline. Yeah, I was worried about that. But none of the places I've lived since I got into doing trampoline stuff have had room for me to buy a trampoline. <laughs> you get on it. the inside. Any, in the all the outside. Is this something you're considering if you're going to buy a house? Yeah, I want point? a backyard with enough space to do like a, a, ba- a backyard indoor. That's a lot of use of space. That you would be so good. Move though. near me and get an inside gym as well. I'll just come over. Okay, smart. <laughs> That's actually what I might change my answer. Will you to. jump on the trampoline? A good indoor. Yeah, I'll do that. I like okay. trampolines. Yeah, be all the sports the stuff. Like if I could get a full court basketball court. Oh, that's a good one. That would be good. And then you're going to have like the boys over. We can shoot some hoops. Yeah, that would be I pretty I mean, it chill. still takes away from space in the house. No, we're dreaming big here. Jackson okay. was dreaming too small. We yeah. can't dream too big. I didn't realize yeah. Wimble was going to be a terrible answer. You guys were right. <laughs> well, you already got it. Yeah. You, you, what I thought I was to, living the dream. If, what do you have to live for if you've already achieved all your dreams? Well, that's a good point. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your trampoline nearby, Peter? Because we could have like a kitchen tramp. Like if, if you're jumping up dangerous. and down while like flipping the walk. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds yeah, a little like, dangerous. That'd make tossing your veggies quite a bit easier. Do you reckon like you could- Chuck like, the pan down onto the tramp and then bounce it back? Yeah. You know how like if you spin a bucket of water around your head really fast, yeah. it doesn't spill? Yeah. If you have like a spoonful of soup, could you do a backflip without spilling it? No. Surely. Get a whole bowl of soup, <laughs> scorch it. Anyway, where to find out. Get on the trampoline. Because I'm thinking you could cool it down because instead of blowing on the soup, you just move the soup in a big circle. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly? but then as soon as you <laughs> land on the trampoline, the soup goes fucking everywhere and you've got third degree burns. <laughs> well, not if I do enough backflips and then I'll cool it down. No, but surely when, drip, when do you land, drink the right? soup? At what point do you eat the soup? That's a good question. In between the third and fourth backflip. <laughs> does yeah. soup fall as fast as you? Like if you jump down, <laughs> does the soup stay in the air? Are well, you no, asking just... if soup defies gravity? Because the answer is no. Do some Jordan, things fall faster than others? Everything falls at the same speed, no, except for air resistance. Less. Except yeah, for exactly. air resistance. Maybe soup's less. Would soup have more air resistance? Oh no, but the bowl is protecting from the air. But the air kind of circles into it. We we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> we'll have to It'll be the same. We'll send this to our scientists. Yeah, is we should it, have scientists. I'll put them both down my we vertical do? slide and see which one lands on the floor <laughs> first. Hey guys, can someone um? Go to a cliff jumping spot safely, cliff diving, safely. with a bowl of soup for us to test this and then jump off at the same time as a bowl of soup. Make sure the soup's boiling no, hot. No, 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 no. I'm saying the soup separates from the bowl. Oh, so you have to toss the soup out of the bowl. You toss the bowl of cliff. soup and does the soup rise? No. Not rise, but Why in comparison. No. The soup just takes off into space. Well, it creates a vacuum under the soup. Yeah, maybe. No, it's yeah. not. Air's I weird. Lo- I would Fucking planes can fly <laughs> and I don't know how that works. I would love a slow mo of this soup drop fiasco. <laughs> it won't be a drop; it's more of an ascension, soup ascension. J- Jordan, super I want to. I want to hear your idea. After such a great, what soup was my idea? Yeah, basketball court, indoor basketball. Court. Oh, indoor basketball. Yeah, court. Yeah. It's pretty. It's oh, pretty. Slide. People actually have that. Slide oh, slide would be cool. Jumping off into alley. pool, Ooh, bowling, bowling alley. alley. It's all the sport, the activities. Which wow. one of these do you think is actually doable? While we're getting new the furniture, Roomba, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we're replacing our furniture, maybe I could sneak in, in a this cheeky house, slide. Yeah. I think that you could definitely slap in a fireman pole. I don't know about a slide, 
Like, you know how you've got the little bridge thing? Mm. Yeah. The fireman, fireman pole, pole would go there. excellent got right yeah. there. Uh, in your house, uh, Maddie moved in, it's your house. Uh, who gets percentage of what decision making? Are you still 50 50? Are you mostly in charge? Oh, 50 50. She's, she's how does 50 50 work? For example, uh, it's one way. A woman, 50 50 <laughs> works. No, 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 no. Where she says her 50 percent and then you agree. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> no, but I'm saying, okay, 50 50. Maddie. <laughs> Love that on the old guy podcast. 50 <laughs> right, 50. So Maddie says, Fireman Paul. Zach says, no. Ah, but we're going 50 50. What do you get? Half? Choose a your poll? paddles. No, okay. So Maddie has a better sense of style than me. So, like, we're no. going through picking all of our furniture. Yeah, I know. Crazy. I think she may have gaslit you. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree. Do you think my bro, like my big blue couch? I think it's completely like, fine. Okay, well, I actually like all the new stuff we're getting. Like, yeah, I'm sure I was restyling. Our bedroom is like lots of white and wood, and like I did most of that myself. Mm-hmm. Then Maddie came in. She was like, "Oh, I like this." Then we finished it off, and then now we're doing a similar thing in the main area. But like, I have a few things that I won't budge on, and then what that's the sort of. Can we get one? Uh, like, well, what hill you know do you how dining, This is uh, is this exciting? But anyway, yes. dining tables have like is. dining tables have posts in all four corners, right? Yep. I really like the ones that have some kind of crazy design underneath instead of the four poles. Yep. So it's like something holding it up, like a, a central crazy, unit. Yeah. So we have this one with all these diagonal like I things. It's like a cool artsy design holding the table up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That really want a floating. Sorry, you won't budge on that. No. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't like the posts in the corners. It looks so much cooler. To I be, get like, too stressed about leaning on a table. I like, like floating that. shit. And then all the colours and that, I'm not a, like, Maddie knows that stuff, so she chooses that. And then I really want a floating TV unit, because I just think it looks cool. You do like floating. All the shit that's, like, floating. Yeah, I love mm. it. Floating. So that's basically, like, my input. And then... All right. So you just say, as long as it's floating, babe, I don't care. A slightly no, loaded I good, question. I have good opinions. I'm a fucking boomer with furniture. I've been around the block three times with different houses and different furnitures. Mm-hmm. I've finally actually gotten some kind of style. And so <laughs> I, I give... Solid opinions. We're 50-50. I've yeah, got, a, uh, got a question for you that might be a loaded question. Fucking loaded up, baby. <clears throat> so it's 50-50 <laughs> on the decision making. Yep. What's the uh, percentage split on the paying? 50-50. Really? So she's what, paying for the furniture. In, you're not living in 2022? No, I'm just wondering because it's your house. So I didn't know if you were paying for more of the furniture. I might go pay more because I'm, you know, good like that. Because I don't give a fuck. Women. I mean, we're Power. pretty, we're not planning on anything to go wrong. But oh yeah, no, I'm and just also checking. it's not like I'm going to keep all the furniture if something does go wrong. No, that's it's great. Paid for half of it, that's so we'll great. Split it up half when if that is ever an issue. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that, that makes way more sense for the fifty decision making. But it's also like we have a joint card and like share a bunch of other stuff, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's kind of mm. just all one lump sum. Dude, nice respect. Have you guys had any ice cream lately? Yeah, that's. Let's get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Too deep into my relationship. Dude, I had ice cream for the first time in so long. Trying to get gains. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know how to the it is. Gain train. Choo-choo. And I was like, oh shit. Choo-choo. Sorry, I forgot. I mean, what? You're the gain train. We're the gain, gain, we're the gain, gain train. Gain train. Soft serve machine. Every time oh, you get a dunk, you get a fucking soft serve. That's good. That's good. Ice but, cream just spills out on your basketball but, court. Yeah, but a lot of bodybuilders they're like, ah, oh, if you need to, just eat some ice cream. It's it's not Microwave that bad. Microwave it apparently. Oh, I should have done. Drink the ice cream. Jesus Christ. Well, that's fucked. I can't. No, no, no. That's so good. calorie that's, dense. Yeah, because ice cream is actually not as calorie dense as I thought. And then I was like, I need to still have 700 calories or something to f- for the rest of my day. Yeah. 700 calories of like this cookies and cream ice cream was so much. And I felt sick and I was like dying on the couch R-O-P. from eating ice cream. It's what? It's how, how much things we do on the game train? It was like 200. 50 grams of ice cream. That's not very much. That's nothing. <sighs> I haven't, Casual. I haven't had ice cream in so long though that it killed me. I don't know. Has it any Would food you, you haven't had in ages and then <laughs> and then you died? Did you say <laughs> I, ice cream for ice cream? <laughs> yeah, Did I was scream? screaming. Yeah, I was like, oh, Holly, I feel sick. <laughs> and <laughs> I was, I was like, only 250 <laughs> mils. It doesn't seem like very much. Grams. It's about the same with something grams. that's mostly water. <laughs> Correction, right. grams. Oh, it's almost the same. <laughs> Pretty much the nothing. same. So, have you been counting the calories? Is that what's been going on here? Um, not really, but kind of because 
Been on the answer. game train. Got got up for a bit. You're, you'd be a good politician, just never giving <laughs> a straight answer. No, 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 no. So I was, I was gaining for a bit, and then I, I got a bit of a plateau. I'm just picturing John excuse as a politician me, now. Excuse <laughs> me, sir. Did you say you had 250 mils of ice cream? Um, actually, let me be clear. <laughs> I had 250 grams of ice cream, which led to me feeling ill. It is not because of the milliliters. Let me be very clear here. This is fucking Jordan as a politician. That was a little bit too articulate for no. Jordan, but it was <laughs> very good. I thought milliliters like, was well, volume, not weight. Cream. No, it is. But it things is. like water so basically it is. Is the same. Ice no, cream's not water. Is, it's very, it's can high we, percentage. Can we do a little game where it's like ask uh, Jordan the politician? Except I'm Jordan. But in I this was game. right. I'm going to ask this is a different to I'm going to check how you dense ready? ice cream uh, is. So I will be Jordan this as a politician. Right, and I'm the uh, yeah. reporter. Hey, Jordan. It's Jordan. definitely lighter than water. Shut Guys, up. We're doing ice cream's lighter than water. Yes or no? Thoughts? Yep. About the same. All right. Uh, Jordan, Jordan. Yep. <laughs> Wait, am I in this? No. I, okay. uh, I'm acting out you as a politician. Okay. What is your thoughts on your opponent's new policy? Uh, what was that one? The policy is that everyone in two-person houses will get a 50% raise. Oh, uh, well, I reckon we just give the raise to all houses. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> two-person houses. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, what even is that? Uh, Jordan, Jordan, is that going to fit within the budget? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we should give them 50% less. What? Two person, so not having kids. Got to get some more kids. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. Jordan's I way better being Jordan than you. Yeah, I could never come up with some of the things that come. We're very creative Did you sometimes. find out if ice cream weighs less than right, water? I would like to make a formal apology to Jordan. It does weigh less than water. Yeah, it's light. Uh, it is point. Eight to a point nine grams per meal. That's what I was saying. When I was shoving this ice cream in this bowl, it kept piling up, and I was like, "Oh wait, this is a lot more than I thought." I needed to get denser ice cream, like peanut butter ice cream or something. Yeah, the better brands are going to be denser, so don't and skimp out on I it. I need to get that. I need to get that. All right, I think we're going to move on to some would you rather questions. We got the oh. patrons to send us some yeah. some Thank spicy you. would you rather's. Thanks very much, everyone that wrote in. We and had if we responses. could all answer them as if we were Jordan as a politician. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Uh, let me just find this. Right, 55 would you rather's will answer probably... Well, we won't put a number on it. Right, first one. We'll do some speed run ones at the end, but we'll get a right. bit in depth for some. Would you, rather, would you rather be able to speak and write all languages perfectly, but unable to understand them, read them, or vice versa? Surely to understand yeah, them. Yeah, what? What's, what? Yeah, understanding understand is much more all. important than reading and writing. <laughs> All right, Samuel Schraber, you gave Does us a free Does that mean I forget with. every Pokemon's name, though? Does that mean you can't speak English either? <laughs> is that what you're worried about? Well, because what, my brain can only hold so much information. There's a lot of languages, and if I know them all, can I not know anything else? Do I just sit there like, and then like if someone speaks French, I understand, but I... You don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. So you also forget English. Yeah. So you can't take any information from now on ever. Yep. You can read it, though. Oh, you can read it. You can't understand it. No, you can't understand it if that's oh, read. I thought you meant like here. You couldn't hear from understanding. I've lost Weird the question. question. And we're okay, moving on. Yeah, question. moving on. Moving right. On. <clears throat> Would you rather only be able to eat eggs the same way for the rest of your life or the same pizza toppings? Ooh. Oh, eggs the same eggs way. Eggs the same way. Zach already does that. Fried eggs all day, every day, oh, baby. Very easy. Actually, Scrambled's if I, if I choose poached eggs, can I chuck two eggs in a pan and because I can only eat that, they'll just become poached? No. Are you saying you get to poach them without the effort? Yes. Yeah. Do oh, I get that? Do I no get that? way. Right. Every egg I touch becomes a poached egg. No, you egg. have to choose. Here's, <laughs> no, here's what happens. You get the same thing is now free and delivered to you whenever you want. So poached. either you get unlimited pizza with the same topping or unlimited whatever. But you can't off. have the other one. You can't have the other one. Look, I, Ooh, I think the problem- that's spicier. There's, there's a correct answer here and there's an incorrect answer. What's the correct pizza? The, we'll take the pizza- I, I'm not going to have a fucking eggless cake with a fucking yeah, fried egg on top. I was just thinking about these oh. eggs. You know, there's <laughs> eggs in so much shit. Like, there's eggs in everything. Can you use this? Oh, like- I'd have a cake with a poached egg on top, though. <laughs> oh. Poached eggs are nice. Well, I was just saying you get a pizza with everything and then you just take it off. Smart. That's pretty smart. Mm. Yeah, that that's not bad. That is the smartest thing Jordan's ever said. On the <laughs> people, wow. of, people of the Underdogs podcast, I have come to solve your problem, so please vote number one, Jordan. Simply take off the pizza topping. <laughs> thanks, Jordan. Thanks. I have, an, I have an interesting idea here, guys, and I'm not sure if it'll work, but I would like to split us into two teams and we get forced to choose one of the would you rather's. And we have to argue oh, for that back one. Back it up. Oh, interesting. Yeah. All right, let's do it for and this. And the reason I've made this game is also because I've 
Now change the lights so Peter and Jordan are red team. Okay, and we're blue. Oh. Me and Jackson are blue team. I'm on Jordan's team. team China. So first option you read out oh, no. is going to be their team. Red and yellow. All right. Second one's going to be us. Okay, would you rather laugh every time someone gives you bad news? That's so that's yours. red team. <laughs> or slap everyone who compliments you in the face? So laugh every time you get bad news. Well, ours... Ours is just objectively good. Less violence in the world. No, it's pretty bad. Less. <laughs> how, how does this work? Gotcha. <laughs> okay, okay, I've got an idea, Jordan. Jordan, how about you let me go first while you formulate your idea? No, no, no. Because I Jordan think you goes have... first. That's the rules, actually. Is that right, Zach? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jumps, jumps yeah, straight yeah, on in like it's an indoor shot. Slapping it goes is right violent. to left. And violence is bad. Yeah. You can go to jail. Someone might slap you back or something. Laughing, good for the world. Jordan, Holly yep. just died. <laughs> Look, and now you laughed as well. Yeah, now you're having Slapping. Imagine if I just slapped you as you said that. Now you're mad. That wasn't complimenting. Let Laughing me paint is adding. you a scenario. Jackson, give me a compliment. I know it's hard, but. Well, I don't really it. want to. No, come on. No, I'm not going to slap you. <laughs> I think you might. <laughs> I promise. Okay. No, he's going to laugh or something. I uh, like your jeans. Thanks, mate. Oh. Oh, it's a slap. Bit of a slap. Just a pat That's on the back. That's not a slap. That's not a slap. Was that specified? But can you just. Okay, so okay. Give Google me some bad slap. News. Give me some bad news. Um, Holly broke up with Jordan. Peter, you look like a <laughs> fucking dickhead. That's, how, that's just how the world works sometimes. <laughs> Somehow worse. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it's like you kind of enjoyed it, but didn't want to show no, it. No, it's dark humor. I'm laughing oh. at the sad aspects of society. What if we like, laughed in a different language? Did they have different laughs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brazil. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, German is ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. but some people might laugh like. Don't they go like ja 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 in like that's Brazil? Spanish? That's Spanish. Spanish, that's right, they do. Ja ja binks. Does everyone laugh Misa the same though? Is a joke. Uh, no. Like, is it intrinsic for humans to laugh? Like, uh-huh. we all have different laughs. laughs. No, 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 but like in another country, like you go to Iceland and they're like, oh. Bog, 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 bog. So you're a stand up comedian, say a joke? Uh, <laughs> way to put him on the spot. Dude. No, 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 even if it's How bad. How is the plain food? And the whole crowd does that, and then that's their laugh. It's but like a horse. Can we get a crowd of people doing that? Everyone do it. Uh, <laughs> wait, I'm going to do the joke first. Oh, okay. How's the plain food recently? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that might be how they learn to laugh. I don't think so. I also don't know what the point of this is. <laughs> well, because if you're changing your slap, we can change our laugh to be something I think, in oh, English I think that's Peter sad. Was just smarter with just the less of a laugh. Yeah. Dark humor laugh. It's like a grimace. Oh, it's oh, like oh, a oh. smile, but it's bad. <laughs> that's the way it goes. <laughs> How about, th- how about this? Alicia Singer. Jackson, now. you are so good at slapping. Can you give me a demonstration? A showcase? Yeah. Loved that. And now you as give long me as the bad only news. Wow. As long as the only You've compliment you ever receive is about how good at slapping you are. You guys cannot be serious that this one is ever going to win. Imagine no, a random not. person okay, compliments you on the street. Give us the next one. A random person on lost. the street, you're like, mm. That one was too easy. Maybe we should just see what happens and then we'll fight. <sighs> right, ready? I feel like we get to pick a side. Yeah, and then you Should guys be fly honest. from there. That means would it has rather, to be on Jordan's team. Um, would, you rather, or would you rather go a year without being able to smell or with a year without being able to taste? Smell. Smell's gone. Smell. I'll go a year without being oh, able to taste. taste. Won't taste? You could be Tell so you healthy. Yeah, that's what I just thought of. I oh, could yeah. eat so much ice cream and I wouldn't feel sick. Everything maybe. is nutrition pill. Or that. I'm so glad I didn't say my reason. <laughs> I was going to say all Come. the dicks I sucked would be so much, <laughs> so much easier to get my get around. Is that your problem with penis sucking? The taste rather than like... The experience? Yeah. Well, I don't suck any penises, but... That's not what you said before. We'll live a little. Uh, hang on. <laughs> what are you gay? Just a joke, mate. But the healthiness would be so good. Yeah. Of Oh, right. Yeah. yeah I would <laughs> healthy I would with be, your relationship. Yeah. That's an interesting question. What is the most enjoyable textured healthy food? If you don't, if you take taste out of the grapes, equation, but they also taste yeah. oh, all grapes fruit, is, but, but like, very fun to taste. Grape is a more satisfying texture than like a McChicken. That's yeah. true. So you could just you could just pop grapes and blueberries mm. all day every day. Yeah, I'm going with the taste. I've changed my mind. What? Oh, so we're not doing the team thing anymore. I oh, think wait, it's just an objectively teams? good thing. I'll change. Yeah, it. I reckon you just pick one. You don't go teams. All right. Let's just play the just game. Just put the lights back. Just got to put the lights back. Guys. <laughs> we got the red and blue team set up, so it's really put me on the spot here. All our audio listeners, we've got red and blue lights instead of only blue lights. Now it's just blue. All right, we're, we're back, back to, to it. I think that's- I, I want. I want to ask a question. By the way, we always say audio listeners. Hello. Hey guys, leave leave a comment if you're just an audio only listener because I don't know if they exist. Do people? They I do. Like they do. Tap in and out. 
I know they exist because on the last episode where we spent the whole time drawing, people were quite upset. <laughs> really? Well, people sense. were just in the comments like, oh, audio listeners pretty starved well, yeah, out here. They were talking about the audio listeners, but where are, like, are these audio listeners in the room oh, with yeah. you right did now? Did they say it or did they just say, oh. They were saying I'm on like the behalf it. of audio listeners. I need the actual people. Like, We need the numbers. If you're listening to this video right now, uh, keep listening. I know you're not on your computer no, or your no, phone. No, no, that's not how we do it. What we do is I'm holding up a number. All of our video watchers type that number in the comments. And for every comment we don't get for the amount of <laughs> views will be the amount of audio listeners we have. So I was thinking maybe the audio, audio listeners just have a guess at how many fingers you are holding up. Also, won't they see all the comments with the correct answer? No, but they don't ah! know if it's correct. Oh, you're I'm just right. going to start writing oh some random God. numbers in the comments. <laughs> Zach had five toes up. <laughs> <laughs> what's the next six what's toes up or the would, you, would rather you rather let 20 people die to save your girlfriend or kill your girlfriend to save the 20 people let 20 people let die let 20 people die well that's not very good of you guys what In uh, where are the 20 people I know that sounds bad but if they're somewhere I on do the, not want to answer that if they are 20 <laughs> of my closest friends whatever, okay they're all Vietnamese no. Um, okay, Why? you didn't have to Why pick a said, country. He said, well, you, you didn't ask where he they said were. Random. I was more just saying if they're not in the country, like if I don't know yeah, them personally. That's not a country. If I could just snap in. my fingers and 20 people in 20 different countries that are all old and have lived very full lives all passed away that's peacefully in their sleep. That's not how it works. <laughs> that's how it's working in my- it's 20 random people scenario. in the world. No, 20 cute babies. I think you should say- I think oh, it, I Babies th can get fucked. <laughs> They've had nothing going on in their lives. Yeah, well, they haven't really lived yet, so they haven't yeah, got exactly. to lose. Like Would you what? kill Brooke? If I have to. No, save, in this scenario. Save 20 people. What a hero. <laughs> Would you actually? Yes, Local like, man saves oh, 19 lives. Scenario. Think about all the new bitches you could get for saving 20 people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bit of a hero, actually. <laughs> bit of a hero. I saved 20 people the other day. Or yeah, like team, you're on a first you count her. How'd you do it? <laughs> yeah. And then like, oh, I don't want to be next. <laughs> on a first date, they're like, oh, like, what, what happened to your last relationship? Where you're like, well, I got good news and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> they start laughing. Good news, save 20 lives. <laughs> Can I kill 20 babies? <laughs> That's bad out of context. It's 20 random people. Oh, come on. There man. might be a baby there. And Statistically, there might be good chance. Do you guys think that there is, this is going to sound pretty the dark, one? but like, do you think that like if a one-year-old baby dies, it's better or worse than a 30-year-old person? Baby. Worse. Because on one hand, the baby has a lot of potential, but also you haven't invested any time into teaching it or it doesn't have any life experiences apart from like shitting itself. Worse for who? Society or the people? Oh, just like earth? morally what would you, worse. If you had to kill one. Yeah, you have I to do it. I would kill the baby. I'd kill the baby. I'd kill the 30-year-old. <laughs> I can that's understand why is that. that Peter? They've had a good that's run. Tough. They've they already had, had the best years of their life. That's a good point. It's only downhill from this wow, point. Wow, that sounded great to a 27 year old over here. <laughs> You're three, <laughs> mate. Peter's going to take you out. I'll be joining you in a month. Don't good worry. Good thing the best year yeah, that is my tough. life work during COVID. I think the third year old does have to go. Yeah. But it's rough. What? It's rough if you have to do it. It might be easier to take the baby out. Well, <laughs> physically, it's much easier. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, I mean, I mean, talking to them both and being like, um, I have to do this. And the baby's. It like, would be way easier to talk to the baby. Yeah, the baby can't really beg for its life. I see if you would talk to them. I just walk in and shoot them. You're not gonna no, 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 no. Right, so what, what we're gonna do here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But I was saying the lead up is worse for the thirty year old. But is it after that? It's probably just take it, take well, it. The baby doesn't even know exactly. So the the build up. It's like if you put like you tell the baby you're gonna die in ten days. You'd say you say it to both. The baby's <laughs> chilling. What if the baby <laughs> was one month old? Does that change anything for you? No. Smaller, easier to do, yeah. True. When does this change? <laughs> What's the tipping point? Exactly. Three years and nine months. All right. Well, what about for it. us? No, I think it's more interesting for Peter and I. No, I think we should move on. Okay. Would you rather be it's one foot nice tall or topic, ten foot but tall? But I think it's ten. Interesting. <laughs> ten. <laughs> What's that? Would you rather be one foot tall or ten foot tall? Ten. No, you couldn't fit through tall. any doors. I think I go one. Dunk. No, you fucking would. One foot, you're a fucking. Commit like you're so funny. You're a comedian. Can you're I smaller be... than a leprechaun. Yeah. Basketball okay. star, millionaire. You can't fly on a plane now. Important questions. Do I don't have a private jet because I'll be the world's best basketballer. Yeah. That's a good point. Do I keep my current physical at like? Can I run as fast, jump as high when I'm one foot? Because that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you're <laughs> like literally I'm the as, same I'm speed strong. and strength. Yeah, so I can like pick up. You're like one an of, ant. I can pick up one of you guys and carry them. But I'm a fucking one. You'd be foot like, tall. you know, have you seen the videos of like a corgi running faster than Usain Bolt? Yeah, it's mm. fucking hilarious. It's really? Yeah, I did not know that. It'd be Zach, four legs. Oh my That's god, my so house funny. would be four times as big. It's because I genius. could I could get a tiny. Could couch. you imagine being ten foot tall right what now? What value? I, I have a really important question. Yeah. Does your dick stay the same size or it's, it's proportional? Relative. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's relative. Because I I realize for the one foot person, both answers are terrible. 
Yeah. If it stays the same size, it's now about <laughs> half of your height. Yeah. And if it gets proportionally smaller, it's now fucking like an inch Tiny. long. What would you? What would you I pick in that situation? If I'm one foot tall, my whole hand's going up there. You're going <laughs> up there. Who needs a dick? <laughs> going up there. Who needs a dick? <laughs> Zach's doing fucking breaststroking in a pussy. <laughs> Anyway. And then it would be one? like, <laughs> it's like, hey, babe, before I get you pregnant, we're going to do a test run of birth. <laughs> this is kind of what it's like. Shoot me out. Like, that would be good. I don't know what I would rather. Would, I, would I rather stay proportional? Y- yeah, you'd surely. Be a tripod. It would be impossible. Well, if I stayed proportional, I might have a regular sized cock. So that's, <laughs> that's a good deal. That's cursed. I hate that. Okay, this is for every underdog other than Jordan. Oh, unlucky. Sorry, mate. Oh, this is good. Would you rather be a student in Jordan Jordan's primary school no, class? No, no, In brackets, no. you're with the other students. Assume nobody finds it weird that a gr- grown man is a primary student. <laughs> yep. So we're all good. Wait, or, we're in his class. We're not, he's not a teacher. He's our teacher. Okay. Oh, yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or be his teacher on basic sciences and general knowledge. So things that he lacks. Is what no, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Jordan's sense of wonder would be very satisfying as if I'm the teacher. Like anything I teach him, he would be like no, excited that's not about. No, that's not how it works. You think that's how it's going to... But he'll go, wait, why does it do that? Oh, he d- you do question everything. Even if I know... Even if it's like, I know something for sure, you'll just be like, no, I don't think so. I, I would never do that to I a would teacher. love to be Jordan's teacher. It would be the best. I'm a you just did with the soup. What? Peter said that the soup would stay in the bowl and then you were like... Yeah, but no, he didn't say why. Out. Because it wouldn't create a vacuum. Oh, okay. That's what I said the first time. I didn't hear Yes, you did. Uh, Attention. George is trying his best to not have any rebuttal here. Does the air not suck through? Through the water. Put your hand up, John. So you're saying <laughs> when you have a glass of water, if you moved it down. Okay. I think, I think you're I, in the I, class with me, Peter. No, no it, I, I no, it does. If you drop it. Yeah, doesn't it? No. Peter, come sit next to me. I'm saving you a spot, mate. I think you're we're going to need a soup drop Maybe. test. Do you know how everyone buys yeah, yeah. the iPhone to drop test? Oh, yeah, no, we're doing soup, test. baby. I think it'd be really fun to be Jordan's teacher because you could just show him all these things and he'd remember it for the rest of his life. You know, like, mm. and sure, you, you, once you on can't just show. tell him something. But if I got a glass of water and I dropped it, you'd be like, oh, I guess it doesn't work like that. And then you rest of your life sealed the lesson. Yeah, you'd have to drop it from really high, though. Well, then how do you not know anything now? Did you not go to school? I know everything. They just kept telling him stuff instead of showing him stuff. Oh, yeah. he's, he's oh a doer. I am pretty ba- Yeah, I'm much more Visual of a doer. Visual learner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the Fun class. Fact. What are you actually, doing? I actually think I've jumped ship to the class because I didn't pay much attention in class anyway. I'm thinking so. you might learn something. No, no I would just, I would he's just, just saying he's going to ignore, ignore me. Jordan. Oh, okay. Just sit at the back of the room and play Pokemon Showdown. Zach would be too busy distracting the whole <laughs> class to be paying attention to Jordan <laughs> being a nitwit. Would you be you a bit of a class clown? A little bit of a class clown. <laughs> oh, dude, he tried. Oh. That was the worst part. <laughs> 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 I thought I was successful. <laughs> He'd try. Would you rather work an unethical high-paying job or a charitable job at minimum wage? There is no ethical consumption up to capitalism. Give me that money. It's pretty good. What? Well, there's levels to what's this. The, so, what's the other one? <laughs> you know, yes, there is a levels. moral, low-paying job. It's a vol- charitable, a charitable job at a minimum wage. I think we need to give an example because there's there's too many levels. Would you rather be the CEO of Amazon, yep. or would you rather work at, at the Salvation Army? Oh, that works too. Yeah, I'll cop Amazon for a bit. Yeah, I'll cop Amazon. <laughs> yeah, we all have no morals. All right. If I, <laughs> guys, we I'll, live in a I'll capitalist cop society. Jeff Bezos. It's all they tell you to but do. Then you can use your money for good. Yeah, well, that th- what, which will f- definitely what's happen. What's the first thing you're doing with your money for good? Oh, buying a super yacht. <laughs> 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 what did he buy? Didn't he buy like a billion dollar yacht or something crazy? Yeah, 600 probably, million? Probably. I swear. So uh, where does being a YouTuber weigh in on ethicalness? What do you guys think? Um, are, we, are we ethical? I, I think, think we are unethical. chaotic neutral. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one. I think that to succeed on YouTube, you need to prey on people's attention span and their minds, and we turn people's brains into mush. Yeah, I think YouTube as a whole is bad, but it can be used. For, it depends on I your guess, content, probably. I guess all the money I get is from ads, which is capitalism. Yeah. So it's like when whenever someone's like, oh, I watched so much Little Z today. Did someone say KFC? <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it starts like popping up. This things about YouTube, things about KFC. Ooh. Don't you guys think capitalism is the best or no? Nah? Uh, you know, I do, but it's obviously got problems. Yeah. I think it is Jeez, better, better than the, the other ones that have been tried. <laughs> I don't know if we're yeah. particularly qualified to talk about this, but just for your interest. Oh, no, but just because Zach said, oh, it's bad because it's capitalism. Look, is I it think not the best? every no, system. Maybe not ethical. Every system has its downfalls. And have you ever heard of the term late stage capitalism? No. It's kind of like what we're approaching now. And it's when you hear of those insanely capitalist things where you're like, surely that's not real. 
that's kind of like late stage capitalism. So like in in theory, it's good. And then it gets to a point where you're like, how the fuck did we get here? What is the late stage? Is it like Disney owning Is it everything? like the billion dollar yacht? Yeah, when things all own everyone and people have insane amounts of money from being at the top. Because right. I'm not an expert on this by any means. I, I don't have super strong opinions about it. But like capitalism works under the theory that everything just keeps growing forever. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, right. obviously isn't true. So yeah. people expect like, they're like, uh, the company keeps getting bigger. Great. So next year it'll keep getting bigger the same amount. And then at, at some point that's just not possible anymore, right? Yeah. And then the companies that do well, the ones that actually just do that and they just shit on everyone else. Take I know it's, it's, I'm not an expert. I don't know a lot about this stuff, but basically it's in my opinion, the best system, but yeah. obviously very flawed. And then it does go too far. Does it eventually get to the point where everything's a monopoly? Is that the idea? I guess. Cause there's like, there's one company that's the best and then they keep get, getting bigger and better and Ooh, bigger and better. And we bigger. have a few. So of it's them. just a monopoly on everything. We do. Yeah. So it's like YouTube. Things keep buying other uh, things. Yeah. And like, well, it's like how small businesses used to be much more prevalent now, like supermarkets yeah. and online shopping and stuff. It's just a lot. That's big, what I mean. Big. It's like Scriblio. Go the on. website, you know, the big s- the snakes get bigger and bigger as they eat little ones. That's not Scriblio. Then they get that's a Slither. Slitherio. Well, they're all the same sort of thing. Agario. Though. But then Slither.io mm. is Slitherio. And then you get a big snake. And then when your snake's big enough, it can eat the smaller snakes, which is a business eating smaller businesses. Yeah. Capitalism. Wow. And then you get so one big, you're snake, untouchable. Yeah. One snake that's like invincible. So eventually it's just a monopoly. Yeah. You know, wow. rich people, how much money they have, it's just insane. Yeah. I think. My fetish is watching insanely rich people do normal human things. <laughs> <laughs> like if Elon Musk just went to get a banana from the shops. Yeah. Like when you hear uh, like an insanely rich person does their own laundry, you're like, oh. oh man, Brooke's watching the Kardashians the other day and she's like, I'm just going to take the trash out. She holds this trash bag and I'm like, oh, God, God get in a semi. And then <laughs> she gets the door and just hands it to her butler. And it was like, oh. It was terrible. It was a bit of a blue ball situation. Yeah, really there. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, she's going to take it out to the bin. Anyway, she didn't. That's like Ellen did a segment on her show, yeah. which was like Bill Gates guesses the price of grocery oh, store. I, I saw that. And she's like, how much? is a carton of milk and he's like five dollars fifty and then everyone's like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that's really cool i feel like bill gates would milk. actually know I don't no know he didn't why. no he didn't that know seems like anything why would you, you know, spend the time to look through get your own shopping you, you know like chef know. Get seems to like it. he would know no 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 chef that's, get to it they've spent so much money on pr and stuff to make it seem like they are still relatable he like, does seem related. Exactly. To they've spent 10 <laughs> 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 But I don't think many Me celebrities do could, seem related. Yeah, I know, because they don't have as much money as him to get to that level oh, of PR. Interesting. You know, like, have you ever heard the thing there's no ethical there's no an, there's no ethical way to make a billion dollars? I've never heard that, but it makes sense. Because like once you would get to say, I don't know, nine hundred million, you, should just you stop it. trying to make money. Yeah. Because like what the fuck does that achieve? Maybe people just like making money. I know, so ethical people don't get to that point. Can you believe people But doesn't like it get to the point money? where, say, you're still working on an ethical business, but that business is now worth more? Well, if it was ethical, you'd lower the prices. No, but oh, the business as a whole is, earn, like, is just yeah, earning Why is it more. earning so much if you're not yeah, I trying to make money? No, but be- if you're making a, something. Go on. Yeah, like what? Make it for cheaper. Give it to people for less. Let's go computers. Mm. And pay your staff more. Yeah, pay your staff ah, more. Ah, that like, makes sense. Nah, that makes sense. That and then sense. so like, and then people spend so much money on their like PR and stuff to make it seem like they're not hmm. like bad. And they like, they have their foundations, like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Like if you're really the ethical, you wouldn't name your own foundation after yourself. And then you donate your own money into it, which then benefits you in the long run because of all these fucking legal mm. But like something like Twitter... Mm-hmm. It just keeps being worth more and more money. Uh, not really. And then you Does just sell it. it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to fucking crash. Every Elon app. is driving no, but, it into no, no, the no. ground. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's not a good example now, but every app yeah. starts off as an app and then it just gets worth more and more because more people join it. It doesn't yeah. though. It crashes. No, but like Snapchat, Think when it first Yahoo. got made you 10 days Facebook's in. Facebook's lost like 80% of their net worth over the last few years. Mm-hmm. Okay, but there's a point where it's growing and growing. Uh-huh. And then, and then people drop what are you it doing about it? Dies. it? What, what, you, what am I doing about it? Yeah, Peter, what are you doing about it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know if we're that solving mean? capitalism here. I think we should just get a different... No, but you could be worth a billion rather. dollars. Okay, so you make an app. No, let's say... Okay, Okay, here we go. I've made Twitter. It's worth a dollar. No one's on it. Yep. People keep joining. Yeah, we've got a thousand Now users it's now. worth a billion. I've made a billion. No. Yeah. It's not like that. Okay, so how how are you going to get it off the ground? How are you going to pay for servers? Yeah, I've paid for them. It's just Google. You're yep. going to get investors. Yep. And they now own part of your business. 
So you don't no, no, own a billion dollars. He doesn't want it to be this complicated. Oh, he just, sorry, he sorry. He just wants to make <laughs> yeah, a Jordan, you have a billion dollars. Keep it up. <laughs> well done. I made Twitter, and step two question mark. Step three and profit. I've ethically <laughs> made a billion dollars. <laughs> Actually, the meme form now is Jordan's <laughs> ideal business model. <laughs> have you right. seen Troll Physics before, Jordan? No. Oh, you'll love them, dude. They'll be right up your alley. Ooh. All right, well, one another one. Now keep going. Yeah. Would you rather relive an awesome moment or memory in your life, or see a somewhat vague moment of your future? None. Oh, relive. Really? Relive for sure. You, you can never go back to the past, but yep. the future will come eventually. What moment are you going to relive? And also, what if I get a vague vision of like some shit? Then you could try and fix it. Can Anakin you choose? Style. Oh, wait. Is it one of the ones you can fix or is it one of the ones where trying to fix it ends up making it happen? Let's say for the sake of the argument that if you see it, you can alter it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Is it necessary? <laughs> is the vague moment from my future like an important one, or could it just be like I look into my future and it's like me watching the tenth <laughs> season of Stranger Things, <laughs> sitting on the couch? And and like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh wow, didn't know that. Was I would do that the long. future anyway, if you can change it. Anyway, I could have relived my favorite day of my life. <laughs> Let's say you're allowed to pick a day in the future that you look at. The day I die. No, and not can... like that. Like November tenth or something. Zach, you got to chill the fuck out on the whole death thing, man. Oh, that's it's just a pretty big obvious, deal. obvious choice <laughs> if I could. You'd pick the day you died? Yeah. Why? Look at, look at how I die, and if I can fix it, then I fix it. But you won't be able to see how you die. It'd be a vague thing of something that happened. Actually, well, he might have no, just but then seen. what if you see that the way that you die and it's unavoidable? Yeah. It's like a car crash, and you're like, every time you get in a car from the exactly, rest of your life, you're like, oh, It's like boy. death to the hemorrhoid or the hernia that I already have. The hemorrhoid? What What kills you in the butt? I was just trying to make a butt I don't joke. think a hemorrhoid would kill Horse you. Horse cock. Yeah, oh. Uh, do a bit of rearranging of your That's units. That's happened. Yeah. Yeah, I see myself getting fucked by a horse, which kills me. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, no way to avoid that. Gotta get my horse cock somehow. You're like, oh, a bit vague. <laughs> Zach just starts like getting his calendar out, doing some furious rescheduling. <laughs> Do not do not buy a horse. Okay, Jordan, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this troll for I'm gonna describe it to the audience. Okay, okay. okay. Step one, oil floats on water. Yep. Uh step two, wait for it to rain. Step three, cover yourself <laughs> in oil. Step four, fly. <laughs> Wow. What that's, do you think about that, George? What do you think about well, that, George? That's pretty dumb because that wouldn't work. Why? This because you're a person. It's got to be paired okay. with a <laughs> troll face with problem. And the oil's <laughs> on the floor. No, the oil's on you. That's why you're covered but in oil. But there's air in the, between the water in the rain. It's a bit like Perry last week. <laughs> <laughs> if rain Perry. was just water, <laughs> then it would work. If rain was just water, But then there's it air work. still when it's raining. Yeah. What, so if it there was a lot of, what if it was really heavy rain? What about a water Is there slide? a point? What about like a waterfall? Could you rise up? Problem? No, because the anger's got <laughs> <laughs> gravity in that. Yeah, Jordan's got a good point. At well, what, what level is there so much rain that the earth just becomes a water level? <laughs> it's like there's no air. I feel like we're on our way there, right? <laughs> no. Mm, Ice global caps raining. Oh, like water gets Oh, bigger. that's how we combat global warming. We oil. just cover all the like low-lying countries in oil. Aren't we getting more rain as well now with global warming? What if we build a Probably. really big fridge around Antarctica? All right, Jordan, I've got another one for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. a photo. It is of troll face man driving a car. There is a magnet attached to the front. There's a bar on the back of the car that reaches around to the front with the opposite Smart. magnet pulling the car forwards. What? Aren't they just pulling each other the same way? Why are you smart now? What do you mean I'm always smart? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. It's fair. Stop showing him pictures. He's All a right. visual learner. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Load him up with oil and put him in the rain. That'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> he takes off. This is just silly. That's how you sound to us. No, what was the last thing I said? It wasn't that silly. Peter, Dropping you're the sounding suit. a bit stupid that you think these physics things work. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. All right, what about this one, Jordan? <laughs> this is terrible. Two forklifts driving into each other. They both <laughs> lift up at the same time and then they fly. No, because everything has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, they so do it to the same, at the Nelson's same time. Nelson's third law, as, fucking as, idiots. As you're pulling up the other things. No, it doesn't work. Oh, man. Nelson's laws. Love it. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's just... The, the whole pretending to not get things has been a bit the whole time. No, no he's making he's got everything silly. I say works. He's, it's been, he's playing the long con to make everything me Everything you say works. Well, Everyone no. comment below something that he <laughs> said that doesn't work because there will be plenty. It at least makes sense. I'm in pain. How long have we been going for? Oh, almost, uh, almost done. We've oh, got really. We got yeah. three of these left. Should right. we just yeah, rapid fire them? I don't know if they're any good. Okay. Would you rather do a? Would you rather? Okay, they've got us there. Two left. Would you rather buy nothing? <laughs> All right, can we hear? Would you rather do a? Would you rather? Or would you rather not do a? Would you rather? Oh, fuck you. Two front. Take your five dollars back. <laughs> <laughs> we should ban him. Yeah, come on. 
Guys, uh, be nice. Guys, you if you play... got better questions than that, join the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather play nothing but your favourite game for the rest of your life or never be allowed to play the favourite game for the rest of your life? It's easy, that one. What's that? What do you pick? Never. I don't fucking... Like, anything. I'd get over it so quickly. What, what is your favourite game? Smash. See, I can't even tell you Decide. right now. Yeah, what if it was Smash? Right it now, video it's game? Overwatch 2, but it would change. Yeah. So I would be can fine. can I fine. decide which game you have to stop playing? Yeah. Because I think over your entire life, which would you... Like if you had to delete one game from your life, I think the one that would upset you the most would be Smash. Yeah, because you've built a, be like play career that, a career that you really like out of yeah. it. Yeah, so that's the game you have to go without. That's fine. Okay, so you're leaving? Yeah, I mean, I that it means if I couldn't play any, if I could only ever play Smash, then my channel would guaranteed die in a few years. Yeah, that's true. It's like Whereas a, it's a likely big stumble. If I can't play Smash anymore, like it'll be a road roadblock, but yep. overall it'll be fine. I was going to say, let's take YouTube out of it completely, but then that's even easier, right? Yeah. yeah. That yeah, was a I'd very be the easy. Same. I think I same. would do only play the one game. Really? Oh. Oh. I'm not Smash. super into trying other games anyway. Yeah, but what happens in like... Can, can I try the? Can I play the next no. Smash in the series? No. Oh, it's just Ultimate. So no, nah, that's good. That's good. Nah, I'd say Smash. On, I get it's the one next game. Series. No, it's one game. What's it's not a series. But so then wait, it's going to be like if I 20 years. had been making Smash Wii U videos for the last three years. Yeah. That's going to be me when Smash 6 gets dropped. Yeah, you'll be still making Ultimate When videos. Smash 9 Ultimate gets videos. dropped. Nah, that's rough. Nah, come on. I get the new, the new series. No, I say you don't. Well, then I'd obviously go because then we get the next Smash, Smash Ultimate and then I'll get Smash 6. What yeah. if there's not a new what Smash? What a fucking stupid question. What if there's question? never a new Smash? Then I'd quit Smash Ultimate. Well, right. That's what I'm saying. No, you're on the same page as me. Yeah, I think I didn't know the rules. (laughs) One more. The last one was, would you rather unlock Diddy Kong in uh, Mario Party or play Monopoly? Diddy Kong. How do you unlock Diddy Kong? I don't know. I would rather not answer that question. Oh, I don't know. I haven't unlocked him or something. Huh? I swear we've unlocked him no, or something we, we, silly. No, we looked very briefly to try and do it and then gave up instantly. I've oh. done it when I had the game. It is You have to do something. It takes like 20 minutes, but it's too much work. Yeah, someone keeps commenting about <laughs> unlocking that and honestly, just we don't care. Yeah, I wonder what day they're up to there. The kind of comment that goes like day blank of... Oh, they still doing that? I don't know. I chew them out. Them. Maybe. <laughs> what, is it the same person that does the day X of asking you guys to play Monopoly? I don't know. Probably. Oh, Same those are like, honestly, just the most unoriginal people. It's like, you're too much oh, time on your hands. It's, it's almost worse than like like if you're watching in 2022. What would you rather never get day X of asking this or first <laughs> comments? I love first. You like first, first is funny because you always get 20 and I can like I'll refresh my <laughs> video once and I see all of them and I'm like you fucking idiots. I love all the people laugh at the peasants yeah. trying to comment <laughs> first and people will reply to each other being like no it wasn't you fucking idiot yeah, like yeah. people are so people good bad bad it's, like, bad it's like opening the gates on Black Friday like everyone's just a fucking <laughs> shit show first, in the comments first, first. it's my favourite time to read the comments everyone like no you're not first no first they're 13th <laughs> like, speaking, speaking of that though it's pretty funny because of the low quality comments you get in the first maybe 10 minutes of video coming out because nobody's actually watched the video yet yeah. Oh, good yeah. video and so I was like it just, just went out it's just something someone wants to say yeah. it's yeah. not in relation to the video yeah. so I find they're, they're from the heart Yeah, it's <laughs> not like I like the part where you I don't know did this it's yeah. it's just like I love this because this and it's like yeah. they've been holding on to that one yeah it's something that they're we like, pre-planned just so you know I'm gay <laughs> it's like, it's like, been holding on to that for a while just had to get it out somewhere I'm commenting on a channel good on them I actually shut down one of them once uh, politely it was the guy that I said one week, like, oh, sorry, no underdogs video. I'll make it up to you one day. And then every single video he commented, like, day blank of, like, when little Z said he would make it up to you. And then I just said, like, hey, I understand that, like, it's not in poor taste. But, like, I see it's like I see this on every video. And it's like, come on, man. I, like, forgot a video one week. And it was just, like. <laughs> Shouldn't have said you're going to make it up to them. What? what yeah, what? I know, but I said that as a joke. And then it was, like, waiting oh. for you to do it. And I'm, like, I don't have anything planned. What like, did he want you to do? I don't know. You should have asked him. But like, I didn't really have anything planned and I was like, I put a lot of effort into this channel so it's kind of disheartening to (laughs) see that comment on every video. So I was like, if you could please not. And then he was like, cool. What you should do is just post something really bad to make it up for them. You just go on the Twitter and you're like, hey guys, I'm really sorry for missing that upload. I really wanted to make it up to you. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my breakfast in the morning. Why don't I just do that now? Yeah, do it. I mean, this guy probably listens to the podcast. No, like... Probably let, a cool dude. Like, give, let me give you a behind the scenes thing of the, the, the boys and it's just us like eating Nando's at lunch. That's the whole okay, thing. Okay, where's the um where's the Obama voice, Peter? What what do I need to say? Let let me be clear. Let me be 
Let me be clear. You sound like a Simpsons character. On the 10th of October, <laughs> I missed an upload on the Underdogs Challenge uh, channel. And I deeply, date. deeply regret missing this upload. And I will make it up to you every day and every time we record Underdogs in little bits. <laughs> but, but, uh, and then how I make breakfast is I make avocado and eggs on toast. Little avocado tip. Once you've cut it in half, twist. And the halves come out, come apart very easily. I use truffle salt. Because my mum gave me it and it's very yummy. Is that the pink one? Uh, no, that's no, Himalayan rock no, salt. Oh, rock salt with some truffle in. Uh, and tip for fried eggs is make sure the pan is hot, very hot before you crack them in. Then flip them, turn the pan <laughs> off. Perfect. You flip it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a flipper as well. I don't like the sunny side up. Sunny side up. <laughs> <and then laughs> flip flip what? Making it up. <laughs> missing an upload. Uh, yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. It's up to you. There we go. It's up to you. Yeah, hey, do you want to know on the topic of the let me be clear thing? Yeah. If you want to do a, if you want to do a Trump voice as well. China. All you got to do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good start. All you got to do yeah. is just talk in absolutes about everything. So you need to be like, the this opposite is of how the talks. number one best podcast in the yeah. world. It might be the best podcast in the universe. Like you have to just like hell talk about how amazing things are to the maximum anything that, level. Anything that's a maybe is just ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Best in the world. Maybe the universe. <laughs> yeah. The soup will fly out of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the soup. End of that. End the podcast. Right. It won't. Thanks for watching.